Who do you rank all time higher, Future or J. Cole? I'm going with Future. J. Cole. Future. Future or Nicki Minaj? Future. 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 Oh, I'm going J. Cole and I'm going Future. Future or T.I.? Future. Future. I hate future. Yeah. Future or Eminem? Future. Eminem. I'm going to go go Eminem. Future or Nas? Nas. Nas. Respectfully, I put Nas in the top 10. I'm going Nas. Nas. Future or DMX? What up? Future. I'll go Future over DMX. DMX. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Future put out two albums in one year. DMX done did that shit double time. What are we talking about? (laughs) Y'all niggas is tweaking. I feel like hip-hop anthem-wise, DMX is not having March Madness. Here go the last one. Future or Tupac? Tupac. Future Hendrix. I'm going to go with Future, too. Give me Future Hendrix. I ain't going to lie, bro. <laughs> Shout out to Tupac, bro, but I'm not taking him on the future, bro. I'm, I'm not. What? Damn. Damn, damn. We rank. We are doomed, y'all. Thing we doom, y'all. I'm willing to bet probably one of those cats probably my age. I'm about to be 35 years old. And, you know, I ain't gonna be, I'm gonna be real with you. I ain't never been a future fan. No. Uh, I'll do a track with him though to get his money. Oh yeah, most definitely. But he would not be somebody on my list who I would just call and would want a track with. Um, let's go down the list of, of, of how I feel about this right here, man. The first one was Future and J. Cole. Now, I guess the question is, they said, who would you put over who? They didn't, they didn't say skill set or any of that, but, but to me, I'm putting all that in the mix. And to be honest with you, man, Future ain't got half the skills, as, half these cats, to be honest with you. Future or J. Cole, that's not even a question. Not even a question, J. Cole. The next one, Future or Nicki Minaj? Now, Nicki Minaj is a woman, so I might, this might sound a little biased, but when I look at her skill set, how hard she's actually worked, what she had to go through to be that woman uh, in the game, that chick in the game, and Future worked hard too, but I don't think he would work in as hard as Nicki when it came to putting together actual songs and bars and stuff like that. Um, and also creativity, man. You know, you gotta factor in the fact that Nicki Minaj, got a, she's a woman, she gotta put on her attire, come up with her costume, her outfits. Uh, she understands that she has to be better than just about all of these dudes in the game. Wayne co-signed her, um, you know. I'm gonna go with Nicki Minaj over Future. Future has a movement, but I feel like you, you can't you can't count that out with with Nicki Minaj either. So I'm gonna pick Nicki Minaj over Future. The next one after this with Ti and Future. Now maybe if you're not from my generation and up, a lot of these legit bug, they don't really understand the type of the type of wave T.I. really had, man. There was a point in time when all you played was T.I. And there is the time when all people do is play Future. And I think they still play his ass to this day. But, it, man, T.I. is an actual artist, man. He's an actual certified Grammy Award winning artist. That might be the one where I would have to be like, you know what? I would probably give that one a future. But guess what though? I'm not. So, T.I. over future. The one after this, T.I., I I mean, uh, Eminem and future. Future or Eminem. Eminem, it's a no brainer. Now, this is the one that got me when everybody agreed to say Nas. And you would think that the type of artist that they chose Future over, that you could tell for a fact that they got a lot of respect for Nas, and I don't think it's because of his lyrical wordplay and his artistry. 
I think it's because Nas is one of those type of artists when you just disrespect Nas like that, you're pretty much disrespecting the entire hip hop. The entire, the entire evolution of hip hop, to be honest. So Nas is one of them artists, he is not to be disrespected along with Andre 3000. You can't disrespect Nas. So I don't even think they even believe what they believe when they chose Nas. I think they just know better because that's one of them type of names you might damn near get jumped over. You'll never hear the end of it, bro. You heard, you saw what happened to Lonzo Ball when he chose Future over Nas. It didn't go well for him. So I think that's what it was. I, these cats gotta be in their 20s, bro. They gotta be in their 20s. There's no way how these cats in their 30s. And they all days, that's a damn shame. No way how they in their 30s and their 40s. These cats in their 20s or just came out their teenage years or something. Cause something in the milk ain't clean. So it's Nas over Future. The next one, this is the one that made me mad right here. They chose, you know, Future or DMX. DMX! DMX brought lives together, bro. DMX was probably one of the few hip hop artists that had people in the crowd actually crying, crying. He spat music from the soul. One of the few artists that, who, who you know, hardcore artists, that, who, who music and artistry came from the purebred soul and you felt it, praying before the doggone concert, praying before his performances and stuff, crying on stage, giving it every little thing he got. I mean, everything, taking his shirt off, sweating on that, mud, on that motherfucker. Come on, man. T.I., I mean, uh, 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 DMX, man, no question about it. That, that is just absolutely insane. And some what the old boy said talking about March Madness or whatever it is, stop the cap, man. Stop the cap. Before a lot of cats was out here putting out multiple mixtapes and stuff in a year, DMX did it first. Before all these, these, these little microwave rappers. And the last one right here, man, we got Future, and Tupac. Now y'all, if you choose Nas over Future, you better have enough sense in your brain to choose Tupac over Future. What is wrong with y'all, man? Something is seriously wrong with this generation, bro. These people, look, and if these cats are in my, in my generation and they my age, I don't claim them. And I, I think I speak on behalf of all the real ones that came from my, my claw. These dudes are ejected. A lot of these cats are ejected. You don't pick no future over no damn Tupac. That is just disgusting. Oh my God, y'all. So point blank period, future is not even in the discussion of these cats for real. Nah, nah, nah. Maybe, maybe T.I. and maybe Nicki Minaj. Maybe. And even then, I don't know. Future will always be, at, at, when it comes to the greats, and he is a great in his own right. You know, when it came to the newer generation coming up from like 2012 and up, because there really ain't been that many real artists that came up in that, in that 10 year span, in that decade. So he is a, a great in his own right, in his own realm. But you better not dare, dare try him with the rest of these artists. Um, and when I say within that realm, J. Cole came out too, but J. Cole was out before Future. J. Cole has something running before Future. And I wanna say Nicki Minaj was out here getting it in too before Future as well. All of them was getting it in before Future. Maybe this is why the whole question was presented because he's more of the newer guy who is a great in his own right to the generation that came up on him now, the gang gang coach or whatever. But as far as these people who they name, man, he at the end of that list. And I don't think there's any type of money that I would spend to put him on top of him. I said what I said.